Hi, I am Nathan Clements, and I want to show you a few smaller projects, uh, just kind of around the house things that I didn't really make a video for. Lazy. For example, you might remember this foam core kitchen cup holder that I showed you. Well, I recently made another foam core kitchen item thing. The foam core flatbed file. Well, it's okay, tortilla. I wanted to go for the alliteration, but it basically just lets me store tortillas vertically, saving a ton of space in the fridge. Or of course, the cupboard, if you don't refrigerate your tortillas. But it was super easy to make. It only took a few minutes and uh, I really love it. It works great. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. Uh, it just gets these up off the shelf and you don't have to worry about stacking stuff on top of it. Perfect. So my wife got me this really cool lamp that we found at an antique store. It's actually a set. You can probably see the second one up there. It originally had a stand, kind of like a C stand. So it looked really cool, but I just didn't really have any place to put it. There wasn't a good shelf or desk area for it to go. But I figured if I could mount it up on the wall, that'd be perfect. So I just cut a little chunk of two by four, made a hole that that can fit in. And then I threw some keyhole fasteners in the other side. So I can just slide it right onto a few screws. There we go. That works great. I think it's the perfect place to put them. It was a super easy bracket to make. It only took me a few minutes to throw that together. I think they look really good up on the wall above this thing, which is actually a drop down photo area. Uh, I actually made this quite a while ago and I've had plans to build a retractable backdrop system, probably three different colors, blue, black, and white that you can just pull down and pull out. But I haven't uh, built it yet. Lazy or made a video on it. So that's something I really want to do because this thing is quite useful, but uh, it could be a lot better. Made this big sturdy desk a while back and it's a nice big work surface, but it's also a big horizontal surface. So that means that it's super easy for it to just get cluttered with junk. In fact, before I even finished building it, it was already covered in stuff. And this is the cleanest it's been in quite a while, but. When it is clean, it's a really nice place to do all kinds of stuff. Back to the fridge for a second. I made freezer cubbies, and these things are great. Now at first I was just using bins in the freezer, which actually worked pretty well, except they were all stacked on top of each other. So if you needed something in a bottom bin, you pretty much had to take out the top two bins and then take the top off. It was kind of annoying and basically just replaced one problem with another. So I just made individual cubbies for them and it works extremely well. It really maximizes the available space in the freezer and it makes finding what you're looking for incredibly easy and even easier to access it. Now, I do think I would like to make a version two using some thinner material. I just made this really fast using some scrap and I think I could get at least a half inch of vertical space back. And it also might be worth making my own custom bins. On some of these, I'm losing quite a bit of horizontal space as well, but uh, regardless, it has been a fantastic upgrade. Coming to the freezer is an absolute delight and uh, I highly suggest you try it or something similar. Lisa has been trying her hand at acrylic pours and she's gotten some really cool ones. Now you need something to elevate the canvas up off the table and also that won't stick to the canvas. So I made her some really quick and easy bench cookies. Now a bench cookie is just a point that you can rest your workpiece on for drying after painting or staining. And you can get as fancy or elaborate with these as you want. You can even buy them, but honestly, the nicer they are, the less you want to use them because it's like a new journal. You don't want to ruin it. But a cheap scrap one, who cares? And this is just a piece of plywood with a screw through it. And if I had a countersink bit, I could set that screw head flush and I wouldn't even need these feet, but they are a nice addition, gives it a bit of grip, finishes it off, and it's super easy to bash out a whole bunch really fast. Now this hardly counts as a project, but I made this shelf for my drone, and it's literally just a board sitting on top of the edge of the window. But sometimes all it takes is just a simple little shelf to really solve a dilemma of, you know, where do I put this thing? And I think it's the perfect spot for it. It's using some otherwise wasted space. I think it looks really cool and nice sitting there. It's also nice just to be able to see it because then, you know, maybe I'll actually take it out and fly it. 
Currently working on a shelving unit in the bedroom. This house is severely lacking in storage, but uh, I just need a couple pieces of plywood to finish off the shelves. Unfortunately, wood is insanely expensive right now. Like a $3 two x four costs like $8. I don't know if that's a C word thing or an environmental thing. Either way, whenever I can stomach buying some more wood, I can get this finished off and it'll be a really nice place to keep all of our blankets and just one less thing to deal with. I'm currently in the process of redoing my music slash gaming room downstairs. And I recently mounted my Xbox steering wheel to the wall using some pretty cool custom brackets. Now this was the first one I made. I did the angle the wrong way, but it was a good prototype. And I think the second one came out even better, but I made it using possibly my new favorite material, PVC board. I know, go figure, right? But this is a scrap left over from a patio that my dad built me a few months ago. Kind of the end to the whole new roof, new window, new siding, new gutters saga. But this stuff is really nice to work with. It cuts really easily, it shapes really well, and it's fairly strong, plenty strong enough to hold up the steering wheel. And I just think that looks super awesome. It's a really cool display, and I'm really happy with that. Also in the gaming room, I have pretty much all the consoles on one shelf, including two PS2s, even a PS1. Now it's unlikely we'll ever really play it, but it would be nice that on the rare occasion you want it to just have it, but there's no real good place to put it. I mean, it'd be nice if I could just kind of have it up here, but oh wait, I can make stuff. So run out to the shed, throw a few scraps of wood together. The perfect shelf for the perfect council. But that's just the great thing about being able to make stuff. When you need something super specific, you can just go and make it, and within a few minutes, you have it. Also in the music room, I made this funky looking shelf for this old drum pad. And I even took a few extra seconds to put a finish on it, make it look a bit nicer. That works really well. I doubt I'll ever really use it, but it's just cool to just kind of have that here with all the drums and it, uh, it holds it on there really well. And uh, it's just another cool shelf that I made. Oh God, that's cringy. Now this one is by no means a mini project, but uh, I've also been busy building Lisa a second Mew as she now has two hawks uh, in the main Mew. She has a Harris hawk named Harry, and uh, you've seen inside that Mew a few times on the channel. And in the new Mew, we have a red tail hawk named Ruth, uh, short for Ruthless, but also short for Ruth Bader Ginsburg as she was trapped on the same day that we lost her. The construction is very much the same, the same type of inside, complete with a tarp frame. However, on this one, I did actually make my own door, which I'm actually pretty proud of. I think it turned out pretty cool. Also in the garage, I have this nice clothing rack mounted from the ceiling, and it's just for a bunch of auxiliary jackets and stuff, just kind of keep them out of the house during the summer. But the clever thing is that on one end, it's mounted up from the floor so that the garage door can still go up and over it. So pretty pleased with that. It uh, really opened up a lot of room in here. Previously, they were hanging on two of these carts, which were originally clothing racks, but I just kind of got rid of the clothing bar and just combined both units into one nice mobile shelving unit. That all worked out. But I think that will about do it. I'm sure there's probably a few other little projects that I'm not remembering, and if I do, uh, I'll show you those in episode two. But uh, my sincere thank you for, oh hey, the little uh, banner from, oh wait, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, could it be that easy? This has been up all year. Could I have solved it this whole time? No. It couldn't.